This is awesome. Stay fair, stay fair, stay fair, stay fair. Oh, where am I? The future of fun is shining bright for Super NES, Game Boy, and Super Game Boy. Nintendo has one powerhouse of a lineup waiting in the wings for 96. First up, there's the wild new adventure game for Super NES, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. But this is no ordinary Mario game, it's his first interactive role-playing game, and it's a load of challenging fun. The evil smithy has shattered the star room and is determined to rule the Mushroom Kingdom. Once again, it's Mario to the rescue. And it's a battle of brawn and brains as you help Mario solve puzzles and use various weapons, spells, and objects on this exciting adventure. Even Bowser and Princess Toadstool lend a hand to help recover the seven stars, repair the star road, and defeat the treacherous Smithy. This action-packed role-playing game features stunning advanced computer modeling graphics. Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. It's great looking, it's great fun, and best of all, it's Mario. Playing a fly ball deep into left field. Going, going, goodbye, baseball! The next inning belongs to Junior. Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run, that is. Baseball's most popular and awesome player is back in this exciting new game for Super NES. Rare, the same folks responsible for Donkey Kong Country 2 once again apply ACM technology to create stunning, fully rendered graphics. Now you can see the game from the player's point of view in your favorite Major League Stadium. Pick your own teams, trade players, and track your own statistics as you play a full season right on through the World Series. Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run for Super NES is the odds-on favorite for Home Run King this season. King Dedede -Day is up to his old tricks, and Dreamland is under siege once again. It's up to Kirby to come to the rescue in Kirby Superstar, Kirby's very first action-adventure game for Super NES. With a total of eight different games, plus a special bonus game stuffed into one action-packed 32 megabyte cartridge, this is an incredible value. Defeat enemies to acquire any of Kirby's 24 power-up features as you do battle against nasty dreamland invaders like Fatty Whale, Dynablade, and Sir Kibble. Even trade in Kirby's power-ups to create special new helper characters. And if you're really good, you might even earn your way to the final and most difficult level on the cartridge, the Top Secret Arena. Nine games of great value, nine games of great action. Kirby Superstar for Super NES is fresh and exciting. Puzzle-based action simply doesn't get much better than the rockin' new Tetris Attack for Super NES and Game Boy. Yoshi and the rest of the gang are on hand to share in the fun of one of the best puzzle games ever. Eliminate blocks by combining blocks of like color. Connect at least three blocks of the same color and they disappear. But you gotta be quick, cause once the blocks touch the top of the screen, this game is over. Single players have all the action they can handle, and in two-player mode, this game really cranks. It's a race against time as you compete to align sets of blocks, creating wild chain reactions, causing blocks to rain down on your opponent. There's no other puzzle game quite as thrilling and action-packed as Tetris Attack for Super NES and Game Boy. I'm telling you, this one's gonna be a real smash. Kirby is one busy little fella this year as he returns in yet another great new game, Kirby's Block Ball for Game Boy and Super Game Boy. Inspired by such classic games as Breakout and Arkanoid, the goal of Kirby's Block Ball is to clear a screen of blocks by hitting them with a small ball. But four-way paddle control, plus the risk of losing your life to a spiked wall, takes the challenge to a whole new dimension. Change them all into Kirby and get ready for even more new twists. Kirby can power up with four different abilities, helping players destroy blocks and clear the screen with extra speed. 
with 10 separate game stages plus a hidden 11th boss stage, Kirby's Block Ball is jam-packed with fun and value. Some of the hottest news in the jungle this year is the return of everybody's favorite little monkey, Diddy. In the new Donkey Kong Land 2, Diddy's Conquest for Game Boy and Super Game Boy. Diddy's on the move, and he's got a lot of new ground to cover. In fact, this is one of the biggest Game Boy games ever. Donkey's in big trouble, and it's up to Diddy and Dixie to rescue him. This incredible new game features Rare's amazing ACM graphics, specially optimized for Game Boy. With tons of exciting new levels and incredible graphics, Donkey Kong Land 2, Diddy's Conquest, is bound to be one of the top bananas for Game Boy and Super Game Boy this year. As you can see, there's some truly incredible new Game Boy titles in the works for 96. But the really, really big news on the Game Boy front is actually quite small. Introducing Game Boy Pocket, a brand spanking new version of the wildly successful Game Boy. No, we haven't tinkered with its incredibly popular feature set or operational controls, but the new Game Boy Pocket is over 30% smaller than the original Game Boy and features an even crisper screen. And rest assured that the new Game Boy Pocket is compatible with every single Game Boy cartridge known to humankind. With the amazing little Game Boy Pocket and the ever-popular Play It Loud series, Nintendo's expecting big results from our handheld lineup in 96. So there you go. Any way you look at it, it's going to be one outstanding, fun-packed year. Thanks to Nintendo. Whoa, what is that? Is that an earthquake? It's earth-shaking news! Donkey Kong Country is back, and it's better than ever! Nintendo is really focused on fun in 96. And in fact, the entire second half is going to be a real blast. TV sets across the country will soon be bursting with Nintendo excitement. Nintendo has a great lineup of second half Super NES and Game Boy games backed by the power of the Play Loud advertising campaign. Starting in early May and rolling right on into June, the action gets off to a running start with Super Mario RPG for Super NES. Mario's latest campaign is one very adventuresome $3.8 million media event. May through June will feature a very powerful TV buy for Kirby's Block Ball for Game Boy and Super Game Boy. This time out, Kirby scores a big $1.8 million in media. And beginning in June, Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run for Super NES will be smacking them right out of the park with a sizzling $3.3 million media home run blast. Plus, look for an additional $1.5 million Nike Impact promotion. In August, September, we spring Bound High and Dragon Hopper for Virtual Boy over the airwaves with a mind-blowing multi-dimensional $3.2 million TV experience. Also starting in August, the tiny little Game Boy Pocket gets a great big $6 million campaign. The first phase of this two-stage blitz covers the end of summer back to school months of August and September 
picks up again just in time for Christmas with a whole new blitz, beginning late November and lasting well into December. In September, Kirby's Superstar for Super NES really powers up with an invincible $3.2 million in media. The entire month of October goes to the playful little monkey with big friends in high places when Donkey Kong Land 2 Diddy's Conquest for Game Boy and Super Game Boy comes bouncing out of the barrel with a whopping $3.7 million TV buy. Never content to play second banana to anyone, November and December goes to the incredible Donkey Kong Country 3 for Super NES with an earth-shaking $4.8 million holiday media blitz. In addition to these outstanding television campaigns, you can also count on the power of print to play a major role throughout the entire second half. We've dedicated a record $1.5 million exclusively for advertising in all the hot gaming magazines. Of course, Nintendo's own presses will be cranking out the fun as well with the popular monthly Nintendo Power Magazine. Nintendo Power readers are like a secret sales force. That's why increasing readership through retail sales is so important. Of course, gamers will also be plugging into our hot new virtual magazine, Nintendo Power Source, all year long. Nintendo Power Source Online reaches opinion leaders to get the news out fast on hot new releases. And as always, retail advertising is going to be another mighty powerful force for fun throughout the second half. Retail advertising is a hugely important part of our marketing plan. For the second half of this year, our existing RMP plan will provide the kinds of dollars you need to plan and execute some great ads and some greater promotions all the way up and through the end of the year. In August, we introduce a very cool promotion to help introduce the very hot Tetris Attack for Super NES and Game Boy. This multimedia-backed event features local market events supported with radio advertising and an exciting nationwide rental offer with over a half million rentals projected, plus a thrilling Tetris Attack competition. You can bet that this thrilling $4.4 million Tetris Attack advertising and promotional campaign will be causing chain reactions for retailers through the end of the year. In addition to these exciting promotional events, you can bank on a strategic public relations campaign to be a major element of our second half marketing plan. PR means momentum. Lots of coverage and lots of people talking about Nintendo products. And as we get ready to launch these products for the second half of this year, we're going to make sure that the TV cameras are rolling, that the barrels of anchor flowing, and that the game craze keeps going. And of course, in-store merchandising is always the crucial final link between Nintendo and our retail customers. In-store merchandising and interactive displays are the keys to announcing the arrival of new releases, helping consumers get hands-on experience with the hottest games ever. Maintaining space and visual excitement is absolutely vital to keeping sales of Game Boy and Super NES strong this fall. Any way you look at it, it's going to be one very powerful, very playful second half. Combined, Nintendo's investing over $140 million in the continued success of Game Boy, Super Game Boy, Virtual Boy, and Super NES. $140 million! That's incredible! Sounds like we're taking our fun pretty seriously throughout the entire second half, if you ask me.